the Kuala Lumpur High Court has recorded a consent judgment between the Naga National and the Inland Revenue Board for the utility giant to commence judicial review to challenge the IRB's 3.98 billion ringgit tax claim for the assessment years 2015 to 2017. High Court Judge Dato Ahmad Kamal Mohammad Shahid recorded the consent judgment this afternoon and also the stay granted to TNB on further legal proceedings by IRB. A consent judgment aims at ending a litigation with a judgment that is enforceable and is issued by a judge following an agreement between parties in a lawsuit. In this particular case, both parties had, among others, agreed on the revocation of the requirement for TNB to pay a 1.2 billion ringgit penalty on the tax assessment. Last November, TNB said it had been slapped with the 3.98 billion ringgit additional tax assessment, comprising 1.43 billion ringgit for 2015, 1.25 billion ringgit for 2016, and 1.3 billion ringgit for 2017. It contended that there is no legal and factual basis for the taxman to issue the said notices. Top Glove Corp which suspended its trading for an hour this morning, drew the public's attention to a filing showing its executive chairman Tan Sri Lim Wee Chai has bought an additional 3.29 million shares at an average price of 6 ringgit 7 sen. The latest share purchase has bumped up his direct shareholding to 26.2% in the glove maker. Meanwhile, he also holds an indirect stake of 8.62%. His total shareholding is 34.82%. Top Glove's share price opened higher at 10 a.m. after the one hour trading halt and climbed to as high as 6 ringgit 23, against yesterday's closing of 6 ringgit 1 sen, the lowest level since early July this year. It paired gains to close still 1.8% higher at 6 ringgit 12 sen for a market capitalization of 49.1 billion ringgit. Including the latest transaction, Lim has spent 69.72 million ringgit to mop up shares on the open market in December. The share price has been on the decline most of the month. No thanks to the concerns over the COVID-19 outbreak among its foreign factory workers and news of the poor conditions at its workers' dormitories. Frozen meat supplier and two of its directors, said to be involved in the fake halal meat scandal, have been charged in the Johor Bahru Sessions Court for using uncertified halal logos on its vehicles. According to Bernama, Raihana Coal Storage was represented by its owners and directors, Rahman Sheikh Abdullah and his wife Raihana Kasim. The charge carries a fine of up to 200,000 ringgit and for every second or subsequent offence, up to 500,000 ringgit if found guilty. Rahman and Raihana were also charged in their capacity as owners and directors of another company, Raihana Enterprise, for committing the same offence. If convicted, they face a maximum fine of 100,000 ringgit or imprisonment for up to three years or both, and for every second or subsequent offence, a fine of up to 250,000 ringgit or up to five years jail or both. They pleaded not guilty to the two charges. The court allowed the couple a bail of 40,000 ringgit with one surety each and set January 19th for mention. Integrated Industrial Space Solutions provider AME Elite Consortium is aiming to generate over 1.5 billion ringgit in gross development value through its acquisition of 169.8 acres of land in Iskandar Putri, Johor Bahru. In a board's filing today, AME Elite said its units Pentagon Land and Green Hill SILC have inked sales and purchase agreements with UEM Land and Musa Jaya Heights for the plots in the Southern Industrial and Logistics clusters. The total purchase consideration amounts to 434.3 million ringgit. 
It will be fulfilled in tranches until 2024 or later, depending on the progress of compliance, to be funded via a combination of bank borrowings and internal funds. AME Elite said the tracks are near its I Park at SILC Industrial Park and some 30 minutes from its ongoing integrated industrial park developments, namely I Park at Indapura and I Park at Sinai Airport City. According to its group managing director, Kelvin Lee Chai, the deals would increase the company's total land bank to 232.2 acres. The Securities Commission Malaysia says it has issued a guidance note in response to the increasing number of queries and complaints received regarding various social media, chat rooms and messaging applications that appear to be providing specific stock recommendations and investment advice to the public for a fee. In a statement today, the SC said its guidance notes on provision of investment advice aims to provide clarity to the industry and members of the public on conduct which the SC considers as falling within the regulated activity of providing investment advice under the Capital Markets and Services Act 2007. The Commission cautioned members of the public against dealing with unlicensed investment advisors as they could be defrauded or used as part of a market manipulation scheme. <laughs>